hello all welcome back to our google cloud composer series so in this video we are going to see how we can restart a google cloud composer services so as cloud composer creates environment with a multiple services like web service or a web server scheduler worker triggerers and many other services so if i go to my cloud composer environment here So here you will see a multiple services here a scheduler workers triggers web server and web server is mainly our airflow ui where we can see all the DAGs and the tasks so sometimes what happen there is a issue with the ui or where we need to restart any of the services like a web server or a scheduler then we should know how we can restart these services so as i told you in earlier video as well so whenever we are creating a cloud composer environment it create one gk cluster and it will deploy all these services as a workload on a gk cluster so first i'll go to my gk cluster and show you where are the services deployed so from here i'll go to kubernetes engine here my gk cluster created while a composer environment so you could see the naming format region and your composer name with default characters okay so i'll open a gk cluster and here in workload you could see all services whichever we are seeing in a composer so the monitoring ready scheduler triggerer web server all these services now take an example my DAGs are not triggering on time or there is issue in scheduling and i want to restart this scheduler service so how i can restart this service so first we need to connect to a gk cluster so simply click on this cluster and here you can see the option connect so i'll click on this connect i'll copy this and i'll use my cloud shell so first i'll configure my project gcloud config set project and my project id will give okay and this will create credential for our gk so we can execute a kubectl command now i'll just execute kubectl get deploy mints and we have to give the namespace so i will use the namespace being used by a composer services so i'll pick from ui and here i'll just scroll down and i'll pick the namespace of a scheduler so we have to give namespace with hyphen n flag okay i'll execute this and you could see these three deployments scheduler triggerer and now i want to see the pods so pods are nothing but a piece of code running inside your gk so instead of deployment i will give a pods so you could see the deployment age is 20 let me show you the pod so i think there will be a three pod for each service okay so for web server we have three for scheduler we have two and triggerer we have one as we are using a composer version 2 so it have a auto scaling feature so now i want to restart this scheduler service so what i will do i will execute a command kubectl rollout restart deployment and i will give the scheduler deployment name and i have to give in the namespace as well so i will copy this namespace <coughs> Okay, and you could see the restarted now take a look at here so whenever i earlier executed the age was 21 minute now it will create one more scheduler uh, deployment here with another pods so let me execute get pods again now you could see the two instance of the schedulers here the older one is terminating and the newer one is just uh, running and with age 18 second so we restarted our scheduler service okay so let me execute again 
yeah so now our sh scheduler is restarted and age is 36 second now let me try it for a web server because this is a very important service in our airflow or a cloud composer so let me try restarting a web server and i will show you the alternative if it is giving an issue so instead of scheduler i will just type here a web server and i'll enter <coughs> okay so it's showing restarted let me execute get pod okay now you could see this is running and this one new is seven seconds so i'll wait okay so the new one is running and uh, this old one is still here so we'll wait for some time okay now after almost a five minute you can see the old instance is deleted now and web server is running with a new instance that is a restarted one so let me go to the cloud composer and we'll see if we can access a composer ui or airflow ui as we restarted it now yeah we can access it so in this way we can restart uh, scheduler and web server now one more interesting thing so recently google has introduced a new beta command so that is in beta version to restart a web server so i'll show you that command also so <clears throat> here you could see a gcloud composer gcloud beta composer environment restart web server so i'll try this command as well so i'll copy this command i'll execute in cloud shell by replacing our environment name so our environment name is composer test and we have to give location as a, a region so our location is us central one a central one sorry let me execute okay and it's updating and you could see done so let me now see the pod status if web servers is restarted okay 12 second you could see so we can restart a web server using this beta command as well so hope you understood how can we restart a cloud composer services now so we'll see you in the next video